Hello, welcome to today's class. We are going to learn how to connect to Microsoft Excel from Python and then we are going to read and write data to Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial, we are going to be able to add data to the database or to the Excel table, delete data from the Excel table, search the data in the Excel and be able to, to retrieve uh, data from the Excel table. So we are going to do this together in a few minutes, not up to 35 minutes, but we are going to complete it in a lesser time. For the learning time, the, the, the time is going to take you to learn it might be up to 35 minutes. So please subscribe. If you have not subscribed, go ahead to subscribe so that you get updates when I make new videos in Python. Remember, these lessons are free lessons. So please just click on the subscribe button. If you like the video, click on the like button there. Maybe you share with your friends who may also want to learn the Python programming language. All right, let's get started. This the first step for sure. You need to have Python installed. Step two, copy and paste this link. Let's copy and paste. This link is there in the description box. This link contains the procedure you will follow in this tutorial. So let me get to the link so that we'll be able to follow the procedure. Okay. So let's not worry about this. So we say this program will not really be difficult as the design will be modular with different functions to perform different operations. So the first function is save book. This program actually is a book database that keeps record of books in a Microsoft Excel table. So the first one is save book and this is the function. Let's copy it and then we open new Python file and paste it. So copy. Let's open a new Python file. If you have installed Python, you locate the idle Python 3.6 or 3 point or 2 points depending on which one you have so open it go to file new file of course save it with a name let's say save us and then me I want to save in let's save my document and let's call it python excel tutorial Alright, so having saved it, you might be able to close this if you want. So this is the file now. So go ahead to paste. Alright, so this is the function to save book, actually save a book to this uh, data, bookdata.csv. Let's go to the next one. We have the next function is get record. It actually searches the database and retrieve the record with a given ID. Remember the record is just a collection of books so copy it and also paste it there. Alright so the next function we are going to copy will be add book. This one actually takes a book record and adds it to the database. So Let's copy it. In a different tutorial, maybe you'll be able to go through each of the lines of code to explain how it works. But just know that each of these functions have a particular uh, function, a role that it plays. So let's paste it. Add book. Actually, it takes a book detail from the user and adds it to the database. Let's now go to the next one, display book. Display book. This function prompts the user for an ID, calls the get record function to retrieve the book corresponding to the ID and then displays it. So let's copy it and paste. It's always good to write program in models. That is create functions or methods to carry out different actions. Okay, so the next one is 
The next one is a uh, delete book. Actually, this function deletes a book from the database. So let's paste it in our Python file. Okay. Um, all right. So the next function will be view books. It actually gets records of all the books in the database. So let's copy it and then we paste it. So gradually we are building up our program. So we've pasted about six functions. Uh, take your time to understand how these functions work. So let's go to the next one. This one is a uh, search. It searches for a particular record in the database. All right. So copy and always make sure you go all the way to the ends all the way to the end and also make sure is the beginning of the line and then paste it correctly okay so the, the last function we are now going to copy will be the get total actually counts the total number of books in the excel sheet so let me copy it and also paste it there. Right, the last one is the main function. Okay, sorry. I think we have display menu. So this function takes care of displaying the menu to allow the user to make a choice. Meanwhile, let me just show you how this program works. So this is how it works. This is the screen of the program of how it works. So yeah, you and I choose um, for view books. Okay, it, it displays and then disappears. Okay, so how to get around that? I will have to show you how it works maybe we are let's continue with what we are working on first all right so this is a complete program take note that this is where we stopped so now you can copy from the main program beginning of the main program and then you paste it at the end of your file okay so now we are going to paste it here control V we pasted it okay so save alright so now what you are going to do is to click on run and then say run module okay so this is it it's running now uh, at this point there is no book there is no database but let's assume I say add a book which is one okay it tells me not defined okay okay so okay I think the problem somewhere um, okay 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 so the first thing we are going to do is to use display book mm, hold on let's get it right 
the first thing we are going to do because the the code the part of the code that creates the record is save book okay so <clears throat> it's save book and it has to be called so let's use display um okay save book have to be called okay let's do it this way let's copy this otherwise just go ahead to create a file called book data .csv. okay go ahead to create this book data .csv. so oh no hold on what you are going to do is to, is to import the the is to import the model that handles the connection to Excel. So let's just open. Let's look at the complete program. All right. So see, these two lines has to be there. These two lines has to be there. Imports sys and also from collections import names to pull so maybe what you are going to do copy the whole program and then go ahead to paste so let's close this let's go back to our program and then paste this here at this point it should run so run run model and then we go to one which is add a book so it tells us enter the book id 56 enter the title of the book kind son okay let's just say python tutorials for beginners kind son the genius isbn let's just say anything we feel like book was added successfully all right so if we run it again we'll be able to view the books so to view we go to four which is view books so you can see what we added python tutorial for beginners kind on the genius all right so this is how it works um i'm going to stop here so that i will allow you to practice it to understand exactly how it works this is a complete program the one i wrote by myself so now there are many features that are not yet in this program so if there is any feature you want to be added leave a comment there tell me this feature so that if i gather the comment of all my users and then we go ahead to implement all these features i am going to respond to your comment and implement the particular feature that you want added we are going to work on this program together until we complete it uh, and it becomes really good I'd like to thank you for viewing but please try it make sure you do it yourself and please uh, subscribe to this channel click on the subscribe button there and i'd like to thank you for viewing i remain kind on the genius bringing you free programs on python and software engineering